Welcome back to the Data Professor YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Chinin Nanta Senamad, and I'm an Associate Professor of Bioinformatics. On this YouTube channel, we cover about data science concepts and practical tutorials. So if you're into this kind of content, please consider subscribing. So in this video, I'm going to give a short tutorial on how you can use Pandas profiling in order to do exploratory data analysis. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is head over to Google and search for Pandas and then profiling. Click on the first link, which will go to the GitHub. So it'll be github.com slash pandas dash profiling slash pandas dash profiling. Scroll down and then find the command that will allow you to install the software. So I'm going to use pip install and then I'm on a window. So I'm going to head over to the command prompt and I'm going to activate the environment. And then I'm going to install it using pip install pandas profiling notebook HTML. And so this should take some time. Okay, so it's installed. And so I'm going to open up my Jupyter Notebook and create a new notebook. And so for this, I will just show you using the example code here. So what this essentially does is it will import NumPy, it will import pandas, and then it will import pandas profiling. And the function that we're going to use is the profile report. And then we're going to create a data frame whereby it will use the NumPy to generate random number, 100 rows and five columns. And the five column will comprise of A, B, C, D, E. And then we're going to create a variable and the variable will be assigned the profile report function and the input argument will be the data frame. And then the title of the generated report will be called pandas profiling report. And then we're going to create a HTML report and the full width will be true. So that means that the HTML output will have occupied the full width of the web page. So let's enter that. And it's doing its magic. And then we invoke the report by typing in profile. And then here you have it, the pandas profiling report. And this is done automatically. So it will allow you to do exploratory data analysis with minimal effort. So you just have a look, scroll around here. It gives you the data set statistics that there are five variables, 100 rows, no missing data, no duplicate data. And then it has to look at each of the five variables, A, B, C, D, E. And for each of the variable, it will give you the descriptive statistics and also the histogram and the mean, minimum, maximum. And then you can also look at the correlation plot between each of the five variables. So here we have five variables, A through E and A through E. So the correlation between A, A will give you a perfect correlation because it is a self-correlation. And then you could look at the correlation between A and B, A and C, A and D, A and E, and etc. B and A, B and B, B and C, B and D, B and E. Right? And you could look at all possible correlation. Okay. And then this is the heat map of the Pearson's correlation matrix and also the Spearman's, Kendall's, and Fick, right? And after the correlation, look at the missing values. So you see that all of the variables are containing no missing values. Right, so here you see the first 10 rows and then you see the last 10 rows. Okay, so it's very intuitive and it allows you to get a quick exploratory data analysis of your data with minimal effort. So you can see that this required only three lines of code. The first one, 
will import the necessary library, generate the random data. So in your case, you might only import this necessary library, and then you will create a data frame in which you will read in your CSV data. And then after that, you're going to generate the report. So essentially, you will create your data frame by reading in your CSV data. And then after that, you're going to create your report using this block of code here. And then afterward, you will look at your exploratory data analysis report by invoking on the profile command. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. So please enjoy the journey. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.